Hey brothers and sisters, today is September 27th, 2022. Just wanted to share something with you guys. Um, four days ago on my community post, I shared a dream that I'd had. So I'm just going to read it. And then I'm going to play a, a video and then um, from our sister Lisa. So here's the dream. I had a dream I was about to move in with my first love. First, we were moving everything into a moving truck from our storage unit. And we had to wait to move in together until everything was out of the storage unit. We were super excited to be back together and we couldn't wait to finally get to live together. Pay attention to this part here. Then I saw two, two, I saw two sinks. People were trying to fill them with water, but the drains were not holding the water right. So I reached my hands in each sink and tightened each screw in the drain stoppers. Then they filled all the way to the top without the water even coming out of the sink faucets. We were all amazed. We were basically only waiting on the moving truck driver to inspect the storage unit to make sure everything was gone and give the go-ahead. This is from our sister Lisa from Watch, Watch Woman 65. She's a wonderful sister in Christ, preaches the true gospel. Title of this is Breaking Nord Stream 1 and 2 Pipelines from Russia Have Been Ruptured. So they're not holding water like the two sinks. So I'm just going to play part of this for you. Here we go. This thing has gone above and beyond anything that we can ever think or imagine. For real. Now, this came off of Hal Turner, and I also got the same article, but a little bit different off of RT. So apparently... Um, Russian gas pipelines to Germany have been blown up. So a few hours ago, Monday night, the pressure in the Nord Stream 2, the undersea gas line connecting Russia and Germany, plummeted and began leaking gas bubbles into the Baltic Sea near the Danish island of Borholm. Less than an hour ago, and this was a few hours ago, less than hours an uh, hour ago reports of pressure drops in both Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2 lines so there's a photo here on his thing and I got something off of RT as well um, the Baltic Sea pipeline which has never been put into operation seems to have been destroyed so the leak was noticed for the first time Monday night, European time. So a spokeswoman for the gas network operator Gascade confirms that pipeline sensors registered a massive drop in pressure in the pipeline and sounded alarms. According to Nord Stream 2 operators, the pressure dropped from 105 bars to 7 bars to seven bars. German media is reporting that a leak in the newly built pipeline is most likely the result of sabotage. It's all over the news right now. Uh, Daily Mail picked it up. RT's got it and I got several other outlets that got it. After it became clear that Russia was planning to enter Ukraine militarily German Chancellor Olaf Scholz stopped the project. So whether an accident is behind the pipeline rupture or sabotage is unclear for the time being. However, an, ins an accident on the ultra-modern line is unlikely. So the timing of the incident during a European supply crisis and after serious setbacks for Russia in the Ukraine war suggests sabotage. And that's what I, I believe that, definitely. Most recently, the German AFD and the Left Party had campaigned to open the pipeline to mitigate the gas price crisis in Germany. Remember, I was going to do something on Germany this week, and I didn't for some reason do it until now.
I had a dream I was about to move in with my first love. First, we were moving everything into a moving truck from our storage unit, and we had to wait to move in together until everything was out of the storage unit. We were super excited to be back together, and we couldn't wait to finally get to live together. Then I saw two sinks. People were trying to fill them with water, but the drains were not holding the water right. So I reached my hands in each sink and tightened each screw in the drain stoppers. Then they filled all the way to the top without the water even coming out of the sink faucets. We were all amazed. We were basically only waiting on the moving truck driver to inspect the storage unit to make sure everything was gone and give the go ahead. So I looked up um, storehouse in the Bible And this is what I found. A storehouse in the Bible indicates God's power and control of the deep ocean. He created everything, including the oceans, and has control over his creation. Other elements of nature that scripture mentions in God's storehouses are snow, hail, and wind. He is the creator of all things. God can control the weather and nature for his divine purposes. Jesus is seriously coming, you guys. Look up. Just look up. Love you guys. See you soon.